camera out there and it will reach Venus at a certain time. And we don't know simple things about how to make a great human being from the womb. We have gained the whole world and lost the soul of self. See? Now, sisters, any of you that have had an abortion in the past, don't even worry about it. This is not a guilt trip. I hate preachers who try to make everybody feel low down and dirty except himself. There's none of us clean. Not in this world. So that's not the aim to make anybody in here feel bad. Sisters, I tell you, just like Jesus said when he found the woman, or the woman was found in adultery and they was all getting ready to stone her. <laughs> Jesus said, which one of you is without sin? You cast the first stone. Then none of them threw the stone. So Jesus said, woman, where are your accusers? And listen to his words. Neither do I accuse you. Go and sin no more. Never again, sisters. Sisters, never again kill the fruit of your womb because you today will produce the one who will rid the world of cancer, sickle cell anemia. You, it's going to come from a woman. You're going to produce the child that will make life better. It's coming from your womb. You can do it. You are doing it, but you don't know even the value of the children that you have seated beside you or that you left at home to come here tonight. These are giants. They have a potential to become like God. And only you, if you be yourself, can make your children the giants that God originally intended. So after tonight, you make a choice. Make your choice who the man is that you're going to take up with. And you be careful how you choose. Don't choose somebody that five minutes later you're going to get rid of. Be intelligent in your choice. That's your right of choice. Choose the man intelligently. Choose now to be either promiscuous or decent. That's your right of choice. And if you choose promiscuity, then you will reap the fruit of a promiscuous life. And that's not good fruit. If you choose decency, that's your right. Choose high morals over being a low life. Because you were not created to be a low life. There is no woman that was created to be a dog. Every woman was created to help produce gods. Uh -huh. What did you say, brother? Produce gods? Yes. The potential of each human being is to become a master of this that we call universe. That is each human being's potential. Male and female. Born to master. But what have you mastered? Nothing. This humanity is nothing more today than a pile of human dung. Dung. That's another word for something else. <laughs> and we literally stink in the nostrils of God. Human beings today are like beasts. 
We do not respect life and so we have not yet come to life. We are dead, spiritually. And the light that is the core of our being has gone out and we walk in darkness. Oh, you can take it or leave it. And those of us who think we're in the light are probably in more darkness than those whom we think are in the dark. I'm speaking now preachers and teachers. Most of us as preachers and teachers and men of God, we are under more darkness than the people that we teach. If we had the light, look at the condition of the people that have been listening to our preaching. There's the witness as to whether you got any light. Look at the people. There has been no change in the people's condition. They are today like they were yesterday, like they were the day before, like they were the last generation. Turn this microphone up. Tell them to turn the microphone up so I don't have to speak so loud. I want to save my voice, but I got to get my message over. Y'all all all right? I'm getting to the point. Sister, your breast is the key to rearing your children with human qualities. The scientists give you a formula, they call it Similac or Infamil. Can you imagine a scientist going in a laboratory, cooking up something that is synthetic to give your babies while the natural milk of the mother, even if you're a sick mother, your milk is better for your child than the most well-produced cow on earth. Now look at what you do. You do not bond your children to you. The process of nursing the child is the process of bonding your child physically to you and spiritually to you. Did you hear me? The moment you have the baby, you dry up your milk, get a bottle, get me some infant milk. You open up your little can, heat it up, put it in a plastic bottle, shove it in the baby's mouth. The baby is not connected to you in that process. Do you know, sister, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, this is why I keep talking about this teacher. He must have been a great man. I mean, to produce students that have attracted the attention of the world, what do you think my teacher is like? Listen to what my teacher said and see if you can dispute it, doctors. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, we black people nursed the milk of fear from our mother's breasts. Listen to the words. We nursed the milk of fear from our mother's breasts. What do you mean milk of fear? If I make any of you afraid, then once you're afraid, you set off a chemical reaction by the thought of insecurity. That chemical reaction goes right into the milk. So as a slave, living under the fear of the power of a slave master to harm us, our mothers lived in constant fear, so we nursed the milk of fear from her breast and by nursing that milk of fear, we became a fearful people. Now look at us. We scratch when we don't itch. Start talking downtown to white folks. 